Good afternoon, everybody. How's everybody doing? I was recording, and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So, you know, I I, I am sort of like uh, dumbfounded right about now because I did all this talking, and I wasn't recording. And I looked, I say, I'm not recording. But anyway, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, and... Uh, Today, well, they want me to get my blood drawn, and so that's where I'm just coming from right now. I came from, um, I went to get my blood drawn. Then I went to the store, got myself some eggs. I didn't pick up much because I didn't even have my backpack with me, and I got lunch. Look at this little bird. See that little bird? That little bird cost me seven. Wait a minute. I forgot, I think it's about seven dollars or something. That little bit of thing looked like a pigeon. I said, wow. And of course I bought myself some more. It's the same old story, y'all, every time I go to the store. As a matter of fact, I'm I'm supposed to have been going to um Walmart today. But I said no, because I slept late. And so I said, no, I'll wait until tomorrow. And then plus I gotta see if my uh pharmacy Bought my, uh, got my um, prescription ready from the doctor I had written me yesterday. More oranges, which I had oranges. I forgot I had oranges in there already. And of course, y'all have to excuse me, I'm bending down on the floor because that's where my uh, bag is. I didn't have my backpack with me because I wasn't intended to do all this. And then I got me some uh, hazelnut. I got two milks. So if I really, if I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. But uh, if I feel like going to Walmart, I'll go. But if I don't, it really won't matter because I got my milk. And this rotisserie chicken is going to last me for at least two days, maybe three. As small as he is, you know, I just don't eat them. I don't know how I get so fat, y'all, because I don't be eating like that. I got two milks, as I said. Ah. Got me some cheese. Got me some lemon like cheese sharp. I like to put that in my eggs sometimes. And that's it. And this little bit of stuff right here, total 40 bucks. You're looking at 40 bucks right here. Yes. I said, now, something got to give. This is too, too much. I mean, it's not hardly anything at all. At all. Let me turn my scooter off. I didn't even turn my scooter off. I just got here, and I had to run to the uh, latrine real quick. I think that's the water weight, y'all. Because I was when, you know, when I went to the doctor yesterday, I don't think I talked to y'all since yesterday. No, I didn't. I talked to you yesterday morning. Um, I went to the doctor, and I weighed in at 222. I was like, this scale's got to be wrong. And then I realized, okay, I'm holding water. That's what it is, a water weight, because my feet are still swollen. And so I think, as a matter of fact, I got to... Turn this down too. I gotta call my pharmacy to see if my medication is ready. They might have tried to deliver it today, but I wasn't home, you know, because I had went out and everything. I rode my scooter. It was kind of chilly, but not cold. You know, I didn't get real cold. I had my, um, at one point, I did put my little uh, uh, wool gloves on because my hands started to get, I feel a little chilly. But it was a nice little ride. I rode over, you know, and they took me right away. I didn't have to wait long. And so all went well. And so I said, well, let me stop by here to the grocery store real quick. You know, on my way back home. And so I stopped there, and then I'm $40, you know, minus 40 bucks. But it's, it's something that I needed. I really didn't need the cereal because I got cereal. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure that's going to run out. And I got some baconet skins, which I said I wasn't going to buy those things. But it was just sitting there. They were sitting there, right there, y'all. 
in front of my face. And I said, well, okay, I got to just discipline myself. And uh, my uh, hazelnut, well, my hazelnut uh, creamer, I had just about ran out, but I still got a little itty bitty bit left. I got to do something about this weight, y'all. I really do. I mean, over 220, 222 pounds. I should go and weigh myself right now to see if it, you know, if I, if it went down some. But I'm hungry. I haven't had anything to eat since early this morning. I think I was up around 5. And I ate. Believe it or not, I ate. I didn't eat no any cereal because I knew I was getting my blood drawn. And I didn't want my um, uh, blood sugar to spike up, you know, just because I ate some cereal. And so I had cabbage. And I had put, when I cooked my cabbage yesterday, I put some potatoes in it. So I had a, a couple of pieces of, you know, wedge. It was like a wedge. I cut, cut them in wedges and I put them in the pot with the cabbage. It was good to me. Breakfast is breakfast. See, I still got my band on from the doctor. So I got to get rid of this. I'm so sick of doctors, y'all. Yeah. Let's see if anybody called me. Because she said that a nutritionist or somebody's going to call me. She says, how are you doing today? I said, I'm doing okay. I said, I'm just fat. <laughs> I said, I'm really not feeling that good. Which I wasn't because my pressure was still, had been up all week. And then when I went to the doctors yesterday, it was up. I think that was due to, you know, the salt intake. And so when I got home, I waited a while, and I took it, and it went down some. But it's not all the way down where I want it at. I want it down farther than that. So that's what I'm going to be working on. And I'm definitely going to be working on trying to lose some weight. Even if I just cut that the main thing is stop eating at now I'll get up in the middle of the night and eat that's one of my downfalls and so I gotta cut that out for sure y'all I can have that's why I bought me some more orange I went well I got me some more oranges but even though I already had some and stop eating like you know in the middle of the night if I get hungry just have an orange or if I want, like, breakfast after I have breakfast, and if I want a little snack, I started feeling a little hungry, have an orange. This is what my doctor was telling me yesterday. I said, what am I supposed to eat? And she said, there's a lot of things that you could eat. She said, you could eat meat, fruits, and vegetables. What? What about my dessert? And, you know, because I am a snacker. I am definitely a snacker. And, uh, you know, I love sweets. My mother was like that, but she never had any problems uh, with with the with the uh, medical pro issues that I'm having. My mother, well, she wasn't a drinker either. You know, some of that stuff coming from drinking and, and smoking and all that other kind of stuff. As a matter of fact, the doctor wants me to have, um, uh, what do you call it, lung, something about the lung. <coughs> and so I got to go and get, uh, well, she said, I don't know. She said she they're going to call me or either I got to call them. I forgot. But anyway, I got my paper over here. I didn't even look at it. You know, the big papers they give you from the doctor's office. When you go, they give you a little book, a short story, in other words, about what happened on your visit. And so that's about the story of my life right about now, y'all. And I'm hungry. I got to eat. And my rotisserie chicken was hot. I guess it's still hot because it was hot. It was. It's at least warm if it's not hot. And uh, I think I have some more cabbage to go with it. Yeah. Because certain things that you eat will fill you up. I, I realize that. You know, you'll get full. Like, you, you know, if you have steak and a whole meal, you're going to be full. If you eat meat, you'll be, you'll be pretty full. But that's snacking, you know, because snacking is like if you have, if I have a bowl of chips or a bag of chips sitting right next to me at my desk, the only thing I'm doing is reaching over there and I'm not even paying attention to it, especially for the big bag. I'm not paying attention until to the amount that I'm eating. 
And first thing you know, you done snacked up a whole big bag of potato chips and drank the whole soda. I haven't even bought soda since I bought that pineapple soda. And that been a couple, that was a couple of weeks ago. That's the story of my life, y'all. Eating. You know, doing what I ain't supposed to be doing. But well, we all have to eat in order to survive. But what we don't have to eat is all that unhealthy stuff. And, you know, I'm definitely getting too old to be eating all that junk food. And so that, well, I only bought one bag of skins. That's the only thing that I bought to me that was unhealthy. And eggs, you know, I don't want to eat too many eggs because of the, what is it, cholesterol, the egg white or something like that. I don't, I mean, not the egg white, but the egg, uh, the yolk. So I limit myself to maybe one egg every other day or two eggs every other day, however, you know, whatever mood I'm in. And uh, I got it all figured out, y'all, what I'm going to do. And so I know if I go to Walmart, I'm going to get me some of those lemon muffins. I already know that because that's the main reason I want to go. And I want to pick up some Clorox, too. I've got my, my face cloth. They're sort of looking dingy. I don't like that. And so I said, I'm going to put a little bit of bleach because I don't really use bleach. Yeah. I put bleach sometimes in my um, water when I wash my floors because my floors got grind and dirt in the floors. And I'm trying to get some of that grind in. And I think that's only going to, only a professor is going to help with that. But if I put a little bleach in there, it, it might help it a little bit. And that's about all I have to talk about right now, y'all. How y'all doing today on this sort of brisk, but not really brisk Friday afternoon? Got any plans? Are you going to go out tonight? Have fun. Enjoy yourself while you're... Let me tell you something. Enjoy your youth, y'all. Enjoy your youth. Believe me, enjoy your youth. Because when you get older, you, you're not going to be able to do all that stuff. You're not going to be able to do really half of the stuff. Like right now, half of the stuff that I used to do, I can't do. I can I can do the... There was a tornado in our city. But the see, the thing is, I can't get up and do the Texas Hold'em like I you know could when I was young. Now, I can sit here in my chair... <laughs> do the Texas hold of it, all that kind of blah, blah, blah. And dance in my chair, you know, bump, 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 bump around. And have fun. But when you were young, you could do all those things. I can recall when I used to be on the baseball team. Picture me now trying to get to first base. I can't even walk to first base, let alone run to first base, Okay. And, you know, just things that you, even chasing after your kids, you know, enjoy, that's another thing, enjoy your children while they're young also, because when they get old, it's a whole different ball game, honey. Let's play ball, all right? Let's <laughs> strike it out. Oh, boy, yes. So, you better enjoy your youth and enjoy your children while they're young. And I think, like, you know, my little grandson, he was over here, uh, Carson, and said, How old are you? He said, Four. That sounds so cute. Oh, four. <laughs> it really do. You know, things like that today, when you get older, you find amusing, really. <laughs> Even though I've been through that. Been through that with my own children. But for some reason or another, Coming from the grandchild, and at my age, it sounds like, wow, a long time ago, y'all. Enjoy these days. Don't let nobody tell you not to enjoy yourself. I mean, there's got to be something fun that you like to do. And uh, the, the thing that I'm seeming like I'm liking to do now is uh, crocheting. Well, let's get around to the crocheting. Why don't we? Well, I've got all the rows stitched together. They're all stitched in, you know, one direction together. But I didn't do the long way. 
Yeah, I got them all, you know, everything is stitched together. But except now, I got to just do the long way. I figured that'll take me probably about 45 minutes to do. Then I'll be done. And then if I want to, you know, if it's not quite big enough, I'll just add some more onto it, and that's it. And then after that, you know, I got one more thing I'm going to make on that leftover yarn that I got too much yarn. I'll make probably one more project. Just one, y'all. That's it. Scouts on her. How you do the scouts on her anyway? Hey, people talk about scouts. What you do? What? This? That? It, how you do scouts on her? Somebody know. Write it in the comments. Let me know. I know how to do the eye sign. <laughs> That's what the little rascals used to do. Let me do the eye sign. <laughs> And on that note, y'all, I got to eat, like I said. You know what? I really feel like making some chicken salad out of that. Maybe I'll cut part of it off and make a chicken salad. And that way, you know, I won't eat the skin. But that's where the goodies are on the skin, right? I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy this lunch right here, y'all. I'm going to have my chicken, have my cabbage. And I might have the same thing for dinner, like I said, because it's already done. Everything's done. I ain't got to worry about nothing. The only thing I got to worry about is this afternoon. I probably would just, you know, if I feel like it, finish up that crochet, that, that whip, that project, whatever that is. And that's about it. And on that note, I'll see you again soon. I go with love.